Brent and his band of misfits have already accomplished a significant amount, despite the fact they're a bunch of <laughs> Despite the trials and tribulations, they have managed to amass a fair amount of wealth, defend themselves against everything the gods have thrown at them, and they even managed to take out a golem, an impressive feat by any standard. But now his caravan presses north to seek out new quests, new recruits, and hopefully they might find word of Ulu's missing relics. Right, we're on our way again, uh, and once again we've got no food, despite the fact that Deadlift apparently had enough food for days, like 30 days in fact, apparently we no longer have anything. Thing is, we've got this person here, uh, it would be mean not to rescue them. <sighs> Fine, we'll go rescue this person, they're not going to be useful. We might just have to set up a base, we can do that, we've got the uh, Vanilla Expanded Outpost mod. So we could just set up a base with our people we don't really want. Right, okay, uh, where is he? There. He comes with a great bow. I guess that's something. He's got some cracks, he's got a bad back. Oh, it just gets better, doesn't it? Okay, everyone get round. Is there going to be a threat that appears? No, we just, we've got him now. He's incapacitated for how long? He's a wimp. Oh, come on. So he's just going to be down constantly? I hope not. Everyone on their way. Reform, go back to here. Oh, we're gonna have to camp again anyway, aren't we? Oh, we got Pandora's box. I guess that's something. Right, trade with them. What are you gonna give us? You've got jeweled rhizome. And that's about it. Is that food? Technically? 2.7 days worth of food. Uh, I guess we'll take it. We don't really have a choice. So we can sell you the ambrosia go juice we've got, the citrine and the sonics. We can sell you the beer because we don't need it anymore. Do we deadlift? And we should keep the telescope just in case because we can set it up for uh, learning for the children's. So that'd be quite good. I suppose at least we can get him a bison wool eye patch. That'll be better than nothing, I think. Uh, I suppose it hides the scar. I guess that's the point of it. Let's sell the pigs. Oh, it's, it's pregnant. Middle stage. We could get more money if we held off for a minute. No, it, it, costs, it costs food. I reckon that will do. 1.5 days to get to there. It's taking so long, we've, we've only just left the beginner part of the map. We've got so much more to go. So we're going to go explore these two. We're going to introduce ourselves to Eron Tido. And this is the faction that Brent stemmed from originally. Bit with them. Then I think we'll go travel up here. We'll go do some stuff around here and here. And then we'll travel maybe back across. Maybe we go rural, go up. We could go to the refugee empire maybe. That might be interesting. Or we continue back along the road. Uh, risk going past the mall mug mugs. Go to the other ones of Verendo? Maybe? Yeah, we got a lot to do. A lot of the world to explore. We've only explored this tiny bit. We're getting there. Okay. Well, that's technically enough for not everyone anymore because we're a radio. What? You're good at intellectual and crafting. Might be able to set you up to do something. I don't know. Sky dreaming. I mean, that's fine with me. You've only got like nine days until you're seven. You've barely got past one you're gonna be such an awful colonist i'm so sorry oh we're gonna have to work hard to get you to a higher stage the next time okay right reform caravan make our way up 1.1 days we'll take the oswin queen right on the road we go come on we can do this a messenger arrives from the Duke of Nilfhelm. Their faction recently had a diplomatic troubles with another faction and call upon you to negotiate between them and the Magical Academy. They've picked a neutral nearby location and invite you to come and negotiate. Could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction, but beware, a poor negotiator could cause more harm than good. Right, it's right there. That kind of works out perfectly. We'll get Deadlift to go over there. He can do some negotiation with, sorry, Nilfhelm? 
Hang on. Nilfhelm is the Frost Giants? So a representative from the Frost Giants came to us. <laughs> I guess they're just like, why would they do it down here? That's so weird. You would have thought they would do it like on the border. They had a party come all the way down to here, did they? That's bizarre. Okay. Right, well, let's, let's get to here and we'll settle in for the night. And then I guess we'll send Deadlift over to the Peace Talks. The rest of us can set up a settlement here and we can do some questing at these two locations. Right, here we go. So we're going to split some people off now. So Deadlift, you go and talk to them. Visit Peace Talks. Then we're going to split you again. We're going to have Brent. And Brent not walk. Brent apparently needs someone with him to accompany him. Okay, take Olive. And you can take... I'll give you... 900 silver you can take a tent and you can take that right and now brent you go visit them right you continue on you will get someone to settle up a little temporary campsite there and then we'll push on up to there up to kent apparently right so we've visited Merrill. let's trade what do you have uh you got some corgis and some fluffalopes lovely Ooh, fire pots that might be good regenerative elixir Heals bleeding wounds over time. Not bad. It's an elixir that lasts 24 hours. I guess we'll grab a couple of them because it can't hurt to have them. And I guess that'll do. We can ask for a quest. Oh, while exploring the settlement, it looks like the local festival. You got drunk. Brent just got drunk. <laughs> He's warm. Fine. I mean, that is because we don't actually have a settlement. That's the reason it's done that. There is a chance for it to happen normally, but when you don't have a settlement, it rarely, like very, very rarely generates a quest. Uh, that's why we have to settle occasionally. Brent, then, you're going to offer some help. You're going to do some heavy but unattractive labor. You'll be there for a day. That's fine with me. Because Deadlift's going to be a little while doing this anyway. And these guys need to go to here to settle up. So that's fine. Woods, you can settle. Uh, how's it looking here? Is this fine? This is fine. Can you melee attack that beehive? Oh, here we go. The two opposing faction leaders, Kazumi Meza and Ryan Inch, each make quarters in the opposite corners of the makeshift camp. Tensions are high as your negotiator, Deadlift, <laughs> walks in. Oh, God. The past few days have been taxing on all parties. Your negotiator knows that what they'll say can have far-reaching consequence. Realistically, the tribes of Nilfhelm will never like us. Like, they just won't. The arcane archaeologists will. So I think that's curry favor with the Magical Academy. The talks were a success. Your negotiator managed to convince Nilfam to make amends with Magical Academy, and their delegates hammered out a basic treaty. Relations with the Magical Academy increased considerably, and relations with Nilfam deteriorated somewhat. Well, it went to 100. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that went up by like 40 or 35. So that's pretty damn good. We're nearly allied with them just from that. That's not bad. Can you pick that up and pick that up, please? Leave there. There we go. And we can then merge again and go visit. Okay, right. So that's set up a few tents for our peoples. <gasps> We've got puppies. We've got loads of puppies. We've got three puppies. All right, here we go. Growth moment for green lazy and animal lover oh i wonder which one i'm gonna go for <laughs> that's all we get oh god you're awful right reform caravan with everything let's go have a look at them right we got 25 relations with them and we got 411 silver that's not too bad uh we could get the small chest grab some eggs for the road and can you go trade with them go meet up you ran out of food and you got food poisoning at the same time amazing deadlift just <laughs> amazing work <laughs> To be fair, he's actually done quite well. He's been a negotiator for that, and he did pretty well at the last one as well. So he's he's not bad. He's not a bad negotiator. And he's nearly gained us an alliance with uh, the Magical Academy, so I can't complain too much, really. Do I want all these Rottweiler puppies? Because this is going to get nuts very quickly. Um, I'll keep them for now. Toxy plums. They provide a beneficial healing effect for those suffering from toxic buildup. That's really cool, actually, because we're just about to pass through some toxic environments, so I will take them. It's costing us, like, all our money for that. Fine, we'll buy that. There's more yayo. Okay, I didn't need to buy all the yayo then. Uh, we could get a large chest and a small chest. Oh, regrow limbs. Uh, no, I don't think you can be a paladin as well as everything else you are. I think we're going to have to leave it. 
I don't know. I'm tempted just to make her like this jack of all trades, master of none, kind of like representing Brent, just if she has like a spell in everything. But I feel like it might get a bit overwhelming and I would like to have some individual different characters do some magic, so I think I'll leave it. This this Arcanium is going to drive me nuts because that's so much money we've got. May or may not affect relations with the Empire in the future. You know what, screw it, I'm going to sell it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Grab some of those skewers. We need the money and we need the food. Okay, ask for a quest. What's the quest going to be? Anarchist and the Lair. Right, we're approached by Mike Anarchist Mugget, Divine Templar of Erenentido. Apparently small folk based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. He's asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies. He says he thinks it's guarded by two small folk. Right, and we get a variety of different stuff. So we get a spell book, arrow rain. Uh, we get some silver, some demon blood. I think maybe the one for the most money. Sure, let's go for that. Okay, we're going to march on. We're going to leave Brent behind. Brent can go there and he can do some work, maybe. You know what I might do instead? I might just get Brent to stay there because the Luciferian's going to be delivered there anyway, isn't it? I was going to say Brent's just settled down here for the night and um, we get a raid, a sawrid. Let's have a look at you then. A child spy adult slaughterer. Oh, God. You're actually pretty good all round. I mean, you've got good healing, good... You've got a passion in pretty much everything. But Iron Stomach he Heavy Sleep is awful. But Brawler Iron Stomach Physician, that's pretty damn nice. Can you mount Olive? Animals in poor condition. Oh, mental state roaming. No then. Run, Brent, run. Okay. You just shot his leg clean off. I, I was tempted to try and take him as a colonist, but you've literally destroyed him it doesn't have a stomach a leg or a toe oh i just feel sorry for you now we'd have to find someone to get a stomach from and i don't really want to do that i right, maybe, maybe there's a stomach in here <laughs> let's just open it up first <laughs> what an eastbourne matchlock masterwork how much is that worth 260 that's a bit more reasonable this is the sort of thing i was expecting from loot boxes not worth that much, but it's still a really good weapon. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to recruit you. Let's, uh, let's strip him off. I mean, we'll get a grave buried for him. And that's the best I can do. Building the grave while you're still bleeding out, this probably isn't the best thing in the world. Although, actually, no, hang on, hang on, stop, 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 stop. I'm wondering, because it's Sawrids, technically, I think we can ally with them. Yeah, because we've already had a member exit map healthily before. Um, okay. <laughs> you're trying to help him. What are you doing? I'm helping you stop running. <laughs> oh, you need to cut his foot off and his leg. Right, that's set out camp with these guys. We've also got these chests these guys have got, which I need to go through as well. I will also set out the telescope just in case any of them want to do some recreation. And before I forget, I have renamed a few of the colonists. So I'm going to leave Aranio, because it's not really fair, because I'm going to get rid of him pretty much straight away. But the rest are probably going to be with us for a little while, so I thought I would rename them. Like I said, Green is going to keep her name. Uh, Gotten Can. I never even realized that was your surname. That's amazing. So, I've renamed Deadlift to Lord Me Lord. So, Arsene Lord Me Lord Wolf. I've renamed Woods to Lats Woods, King of Thorns, and Skylar Berry. So, these are our new people. Got Lormy Lawn, Lats, King, and Skylar. And as I said, I'll be I'll be renaming people as I go through the Patreon list, so I'll probably pick you eventually. Anyway, while these people are sleeping, I'll just get a radio because nobody likes a radio. Uh, that's <laughs> that's opened you up. You've given me an ancient column. Excellent. This piece bears an artwork of several gauntlets. The impressionistic style of central scene clashes with the cubist depiction of the background. Worth 300 silver. That's not too bad. We got some more exalted medicine. I will take it. And also a master at Great Bow. No, 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 no. Give me a second. There. <laughs> so I had the multiplier on, which was the problem. I'd set it so it was quite a low amount, but it was still clearly way more than um, I was expecting because that's a lot more. Let's try this one now. This should hopefully be fairly more realistic. Master at Warbow, 300, and a couple of Arcanium. That's a lot better. You know, Punter's Beehive, that can't go badly, can it? No one likes you, Aranio. <laughs> no one likes you. Oh, crash transport balloon. Hello. We have a new person. They are a... How do you pronounce this? I'm awful at this. Virga? Dwarf, basically. So, what have you... You come with a Bone Gladius, and we could take you in. You are a physically deaf underground, a diligent student. Ooh. Oh my god, you're amazing. Got 15 construction, 20 mining. 
13 crafting pretty damn nice the problem is you believe in lifism we have to deal with that but yeah welcome to the colony you've got oh you've got asthma and an ambrosia addiction and uh, okay <laughs> can we just turn that into that and you rescue him that'd be nice you can sleep on the floor it's only for a little bit the others will be back soon speaking of which king of thorns go open up pandora's box oh god uh, caravan animals wandered in silver heavy fur five. Oh, everyone wanted heavy fur now we've got the <laughs> the only heavy fur in the world we got a coyote self-tame fine and we've also got a raid hello pot <laughs> pot belly oh pot belly the pig skin that's amazing everyone get up please lord lord is still down iranio do your thing missy what are you doing we need you here iranio is gonna die oh okay you just got hit from the gladius in your leg it's fine right anyway you guys reform how long is it take you to get there a day um so we're gonna want to go probably to there 0.5 days and then we can rest there because if we go into a polluted zone we're gonna get uh really badly polluted but it'd be cool to show off this map because i haven't actually shown these yet before and they're really cool the toxic forest they look amazing oh you've got a crocodile eating you I'm really sorry. Um, oh, you didn't deserve that. I can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. Brent, you might need to kill this crocodile. I'm worried once it consumes Basque Pock, it's gonna come after you. Boom. Go away. True. You just shot off its claw. You did absolutely no damage to it. Now you did. Run away. There we go. Right. Finish it off, please. Thank you. Right, let's get a little stockpile going. You can uh, actually butcher this thing. Jesus. <laughs> um, okay. The, the gods have decided to bless Brent with slate, petri wood, and granite. Lovely. Also, some marble and... Oh, citrine. Okay, that's not too bad. And compacted steel. I don't think that's meant to be in the game. Hmm... <laughs> Make sure that was meant to be disabled. Okay, well, we've got a meter of steel somehow. Uh, fine. Well, the citrine's nice, but that was crazy close. You're lucky to be alive, Brent. Very, very lucky. Okay, we set up camp apparently in a lake. Can we all just move down to here, please? That's quite wholesome. King's watching lats cut down the oak tree in the middle of the night. Rather than go to bed, he's like, no, I want to study. I want to learn. And he's actually not doing bad. I mean, considering... Well, he's not doing amazing, is he? But he already has two double passions, so he's not that bad of a character already. I mean, he's a gastronomist. He's got cooking level two. I mean, you can't get better than that. Uh, and he's a diligent student, so it doesn't really matter whether he gets passions or not. So he's very, very good. But he's already growth tier level three. And he's still got another, like, what, 50 days? So he's going to do fine. Oh, dear. Manhunter pack. Manhunting hares. It's two manhunting hares. Brent, I think you need to use your axe. There we go. <laughs> your axe gun. Uh, one more. Okay, get your flaming amber sword out. Seriously? There. Thank you. Uh, I was only a bruise. Good. Oh, it's, I didn't even realize his body got destroyed by the meteor. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, dear. Oh, we don't need that grave anymore, I guess. Right, Lormy Lord's actually finally constructing that tent, which is lovely. So that'll be four tents for the four... Well, I need five. No, don't quite have enough then. Yeah, Lormy Lord, ear skewer, well done. You actually made a normal tent. Oh, there's a few normal tents. Oh, they're better than before. Good. We're getting better. We are slowly, slowly getting better. Uh, Green, I hate to break it to you, but you need to be learning. I think we need to take her off some of this stuff because I did leave her on, but actually she needs to learn. I could leave them here to learn. Are they at risk here? Is that, they're, they're always all does. They'll be fine. Uh, let's leave King, Missy, Skylar. I could leave Arrhenio, actually. Let's leave Arrhenio. He can keep the others company. We will leave all of them, but I will take Brutus and Brutusina. We'll take a couple of these, because that should be good for the toxic build-up that we're probably going to get. A couple of sleep bags. We're the adults. I'm sure we'll be fine. And we'll take a couple of Glitter World. That, that'll do. Okay, you go attack that bandit camp. The rest of you, you can do your own thing. Irenio chat about odd jobs with Skylar. Skylar and Irenio chat about practicing poker. This is nice. Irenio's babysitting. I suppose he's not 
awful. He's actually not that bad. I mean, he's a really good intellectual character. I shouldn't really pass him up. It's just he's got no talent. He's a wimp and it's uh, and he's got the weirdest genes. I mean, look at them. He's a quick study. I suppose that is something. High libido. Ooh, not sure about that. Delicate, sleepy, pyromania. To be fair, he's got fast runner, strong digestion. This is all pretty good. It's a very unattractive thing. You're probably not liked. No one likes you. Like, they, they all really don't like you. <laughs> okay. Well, you have a nice time here with the children's. A buck is self-tamed. You are a pack animal. Okay. You want to uh, join the other pack animals? Aranio, congratulations. You're on animal handling. And Lord me Lord and Lats are just about to arrive at the settlement with the two small folk. Here we go. And this is the toxic forest. So there is a small chance for a small patch of non-toxified area, but the rest of the area complete toxic. So the way this works is that you normally, I think in a normal map, you would have like clumps of petrified wood and you have to dig into it in able to find like clean soil. So if you have seen uh, Nauska Valley of the Winds, it's based on that environment basically. And you get the same things, the Omu. So it's pretty cool. I thought I bought the other Rottweiler, not the puppies. Okay, wonderful. And you don't have your... Oh my god, you don't even have weapons. This was a mistake. You're going to have to send the dog in to attack. We're going to fly the other side of it. And then we're going to get him from behind. Lord, we'll all come down here. We're going to have to try and get his weapon as soon as he's down. Punch him from behind. No! Protina's eye has been taken out. Equip that. Uh, we got some food. Nice. Right. Oh. Oh no, they're coming. They're coming. We don't have time. Run. And kill. Hey, we did it. Haven has arrived. Woo, that was the only reason we were staying here, so that's pretty good. Luciferium and a little bit of silver. Not sure if that was worth all the hardship, to be honest. Right, Brent, my friend, it's time to go up there. So let's grab everything. Cool, right, so go check this out. Lats, come on, come with me. Yeah, toxic buildup is minor, but that's fine. Uh, you've got tox, anti-tox weak. That's because you ate some tox plums, isn't it? Yeah, so you're off going to be fine for a bit. Uh, so we've got ancient eastbourne paygrass hat awful and we've got a mega sloth hood i've got some more simple meals bed with a heavy fur kids shirt Ooh, simple meals what's that toxicite formation crystalline growth imbued with world's magic this corrupt variant of calcite is highly toxic okay we don't want that then that wasn't bad despite the fact we had no weapons i think we did all right there back to the children's you go um, we do have a Pandora's box as well, so that's something, I guess. Travel supplies. We've got a bit more food. That's something. And that'll do. I didn't even notice that. Open the loot box, Missy. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Ascend self. Cause the pawn to ascend to their next genetic form when ready. This will not carry over changes to their gen genes made during gameplay. Their current genes are wiped and, and the new Zeno type applied. I'm just thinking I could change King. King, go. We'll see if it actually makes you a different Zeno type. It looks like it might. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it's going to be random or whether it's just going to do anything. This one, the retractable blades that extend from between their knuckles. The ability to retract them keeps them out of the way and negates the issue of talons. Might be good for something like Lord, Lord. He did want something to help better himself. Now, is this actually going to turn King into a different Zeno type? Because if it wipes his current xenotype, that's going to be amazing. Come on. What did it do? Uh, it takes place after 13. Caster must be ready to ascend for this to work. They have to wait till they're 13. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a little while longer. Word of Lat's charm has reached dark light, and they've asked for Lat's hand in marriage. Accepting this marriage proposal will cement relations and strengthen faction ties, but Lat's will leave your faction to join the Toll Treaty. The Toll Treaty. Um, The Mononistic iconoclast elves who literally prefer elves <laughs> mm, i'm sorry no it's somewhat what do you mean you did you gave me no choice oh it hasn't deteriorated at all it's fine worried then cool right well brent's up finally and the others are together skylar has actually got quite a lot of learning done which is very very nice uh, missy how are you doing missy's got learning done look at that 40 percent, and you're gaining three a day that's not bad I guess I'll let you stay here for one more day. I mean, Brent needs to do some traveling anyway. Yeah, fine. I'll get Brent to do some work for these guys, and then I'll get them to come down after the after that. Uh, just because I would like them to actually get some proper growing done. Especially King of Fawns, because he's just about to reach adulthood. It won't be long. When did we get Draconic Ambrosia? 
I don't know. Uh, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell the demon's blood. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. Uh, sell the bone gladius. I would love regrow limbs. I'm tempted to get it anyway and wait till we've actually got another character. Because I don't know when that, that's going to come up next. We do need some food though. I don't know why it's saying we've got so much food because we really don't. Let's grab that. We'll grab the tox plums. Right, and offer help. Let us do heavy but unattractive work. Sounds good. Right, you're going to be there for a day. Oh, it's just the night we are just about to set up and we've got... <gasps> Izel? Brent's wife? What? <laughs> a veterinarian named Izel has arrived and wants to join the colony. So did Brent leave his wife when he ran off for Ulu's quest? <laughs> Izel, okay. Um, Welcome. Izel. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Gluttons are terrifying demons covered in teeth and mouths. <laughs> oh my god. Ren, what did Ulu do to your wife? <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Oh god, I feel so sorry for you. I don't think you'd be accepted in normal society. You're literally a demon. I reckon the gods did this to her just to deter Brent from going back home. Can't wear armor. Tough skin. Very unhappy. You worship an insect-loving, lust-loving cult. What do we do about you? Are you? You're very unattractive, so they're hard to look at, which is going to make people not really like you. Carries this gene, assault their foes like a hungry super zombie. Extremely frequent damage, but low armor penetration. God, this is... Oh, <laughs> I kind of want to see what's underneath the top, but I also don't at the same time. Apparently, they're covered in mouths. I'm not sure if you're even meant to... Yeah, you're not meant to have eyes. I think or hair. Okay, that's the best I could do. I can't actually get rid of the eyes. Um, but I've got rid of her mouth. But you can see that's meant to be her teeth. So you've got her little eyes poking from inside her mouth. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look. Oh. You're pregnant? What do you mean? I'm so confused. You're having an, another one? Put it back on. Just put it back on. How long have we been going? 43 days. That's not Brent's child. Oh, what did they do to you? <laughs> I don't know what we, we we should do. Can we cure her? I don't think we can like cancel this out. I guess we'd have to find like a way to remove some of these genes, but I don't even know if we can. I mean, maybe with something like what King's got, where you can ascend. There might be something we can find that will do it. Or what we do is we just send you to a little farm. <laughs> and move, move you out the way. Oh, God. Ugh. Right. Right. Well, congratulations. Brent, you're going to be a father? Okay, well, you, you can mine the citrine. I'm more than fine if you want to mine the citrine. Lord, Lord needs to take that. Consume. Uh, although, what's your, metab your, your metabolic thing's fine. You've already got strong melee damage. So if I can give you this, that kind of makes you a good melee fighter just on its own having those retractable claws would make you amazing yeah so i guess it's kind of going to be like the sawed claws and they're actually quite good and this will make him neutral in terms of actual hunger rate he just wants to be loved by everyone oh there we go right okay now that that's done let's head off back towards brent and you're you're still mining are you Petri, what is your mining six i mean to be fair between you and marino you could easily set up an outpost to mine for us that's not that bad oh god you're just gonna have a baby i don't know what to do with this baby I, do, do, is this normal i've never had a colonist join and then suddenly get pregnant Winters, you're not a bad character, but I think you would upset everyone who sees you. I think that's the problem. Right, well, anyway, you continue mining up that stuff. You can you can buy everyone over with Citrine. <laughs> uh, the rest of you are on your way. 0.4 days. That's perfect timing because Brent should just about be done by the time you arrive. So that's great. Right, activity outcome. Oh, what was that? Activity outcome. We got 559 silver and 25. That's not bad it's not great but it's not bad can we get anything from that no right then you wait for the others i don't know what we're gonna do with Izel. cannot wield weapons so if we dropped that will she never be able to pick up again yeah that's it now oh you just not have proper hands this is so weird 
Glutton is from the new Big and Small Jeans add-on, which is like the Heaven and Hell add-on that's just been released. It's very, very, very cool, but God, this is terrifying. I didn't really ever think that this sort of thing would join, let alone be Brent's wife. <laughs> it's the hair. It's the hair that gets me. Because actually underneath, it just looks like that. <laughs> but it's just got hair on it. There's not enough citrine in the world, to be honest. But you know what, Izel, you can uh, try and talk to those people. I'm sure they don't find you frightening at all. They don't even want your citrine. Who are you? You are a rocks touched. Ooh, I haven't seen these yet. Efficient mandibles. Strong cable teeth, pack mule, armored speed. Fertility while outdoors. Mm. Some of these people they're meant to be based on, but I've added it so that there is a chance for random genetics to be added, like we've seen with uh, Ireno. I'm not liking the fact that apparently that sort of character is hungry. I want to see this in action. Fist fight this kangaroo for me, please. Jeez, she just bit off its tail. This poor kangaroo, I'm so sorry. Okay, it's actually closer than I thought. Uh, okay, can you, can you tend yourself? Yeah, actually tend yourself. That would be good. God, bit a tail off in its frenzy. I mean, to be fair, it, it, it scratched you quite a lot. But still, you just bit it. Only bites. Do you not have proper arms? And it says you've got elongated fingers. Like a glutton's meant to have elongated fingers? I mean, your baby's genes don't have elongated fingers. Maybe that's like part of the branch of random mutations. Faces on a body with tiny little fingers poking out the sides. That's horrendous. Oh, I don't like this at all. Apparently, they've given us exalted medicine. Um, You know what? Go tend yourself. Um, I think they were so scared of her. They're like, just please, <laughs> please treat yourself and <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> She's still hungry. She needs to feed. Well, I've got you this kangaroo you can have. Just uh, don't hurt anyone, okay? Please. Well, Brent, I'm sorry to say, I think you're going to be in for a bit of surprise when you see Azel. Hopefully she's not gorging on a kangaroo when you arrive. <laughs> Did you? I don't know if I saw it. I tried to. I tried to. Um. I tried to get it, but she ate it so quickly. She literally consumed that thing whole. Oh, her food bars changed. Now she's actually eaten. She ate that kangaroo whole. Uh, is there any other animals? There's a rat and a crocodile. Go get that rat. Is all hungry? Nom nom. <laughs> Just eat it whole. No, it, she ate it so quickly. Oh, it's terrifying. She doesn't care. She does not care that she just ate that rat whole like she ate the kangaroo whole. I just feel sorry for her. She's clearly had something happen to her and, um, oh, she's been, she's just been, it says for the father is Brent. That's, an e that's even, like, weirder. So, was she always like this? The gods turn her and her, his child? God, but he's been away for so long. There's no way. Oh, this is weird. I, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Don't worry, Azel. Brent's Brent's gonna find a cure. He, he'll fix you. <laughs> he'll fix you good. Right. I think on that note, let's all head over to that way. Apparently, despite the fact that. We have so much stuff food wise. We should easily have enough food for like a few days. Apparently we don't have we have got enough food for 0 0.1 days. I think she's just literally that hungry. We can't keep her. We're going to have to set her aside. Can we remove her from the caravan? Remove Moreno from the caravan. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Moreno and Izel. No, uh, you're going to go to here. Take Moreno, and you're going to be okay. Moreno, you're going to be fine. Don't worry. I'm sure she won't actually eat you. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right. While uh, Arrhenio's caravan, for some reason, Arrhenio's going that way, we're going to get Izel and Moreno to go with it. I don't know if the fact that Moreno is down means that we can't actually form an outpost with him. We will see. Okay, create outpost. So... 
fishing, defensive, drilling, encampment, hunting, logging, mining. We can do a mining outpost. Production outpost, science. Uh, a town, we need to have five. Right. Um, oh, oh dear. Uh, kitten. Christina Kitten. I think you're in the wrong neighborhood, my friend. Is all smash. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he didn't know what I hit him. Right, I think you might be hungry, so, uh, you want to just chow down? Look how quickly uh, it's gone. Eight without a table. <laughs> She's so happy right now. Let's create an outpost then. Uh, so what can we make? Uh, education center? Places a temporary autonomous-led camp that specialize in student education. <gasps> Hold the phone. Stop, stop everything. Come here. That's a thing? We've got two teachers. It takes two pawns. Next lesson in one day. They can train them. We can drop the children off. Oh, Missy, you can actually have an education. Ereno can be dropped off as well, and he can do something useful. Oh, amazing. We can drop them off and then pick them back up after we're done. Amazing. <laughs> it's like daycare, but for uh, a couple of weeks uh, without visiting or help. Right, so um, add pawn. So uh, we're going to add King of Fawns, Skylar, Missy, Ereno. Lovely. So what's that look like now? Efficiency is 0.24. So it's 43 out of 180. That's not great, but I think it could be significantly worse. Yeah, mining levels. So he, he's actually teaching them. So teaching them mining, intellectual, and artistic. Okay, so that's all we can really teach them. Uh, do any of you have better stats we can get you to teach them? Lats would be really good staying behind. Although to be fair, so would Lord me Lord. Maybe we should just get them all to stay there while Brent goes and explores over there. Pick them up afterwards. Right, so if we do it this way, we've got mining, melee, intellectual, artistic, and herb law. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is this is actually all right. The next lesson's in two hours. Let's have a look. Right, here we go. Right, so what happens after that? Does it just go up a set amount? <gasps> it does. Oh, that's cool. Right, I like that a lot. Good, we've got everything on us. That's fine. Now go trade with them. So on that note, I'm going to call it a day. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Lem, Belise, Lord, Lord, T. Chaos, Torman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Fawns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Lloyd, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You're all incredible. Thank you so much for all your support. It means a lot to me, and it helps keep the channel afloat, so I can't thank you guys enough. So cheers, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.